But the man who really has been making the headlines this morning is the 23-year-old Englishman, Aaron Rye. Get off to a great start, six under for his first nine holes. This was for another birdie at the second, turning onto the front line of the golf course. Gave himself another chance at the third. Eleven under par. Great putt, just stays out. On to the fourth. And another birdie chance for Aaron Rye. Makes this one. Now everybody is beginning to do the arithmetic on this par 70 course and thinking, hmm, another 59? On the fifth, another chance for Aaron. Just lacking a little bit of pace that time. Just a few minutes ago on the sixth. And this time it drops eight under for the round, 13 under for the tournament. Four holes still to play. Three birdies will make it a 59. Elites by six from Miyazato. Jason Scribner is in third place. He's one under today through 10 holes. Then four players on five under, Jack Singh Bra, the young Englishman, Jake Higginbottom, Michael Lawrence Shin and Mon Park. Just on the right hand side of the fairway here on the seventh. Pin today fairly accessible, but you don't want to go long with this shot. One of the bigger greens here, but it's trying to hit it in the right place on the putting surface which is below the hole something he's done like that a little bit nearer but go to rye can he make another birdie here on seven up the hill he can be bold right road wrong strength a couple of times he's left it short which is unlike him renowned putter now needs to birdie the last three holes to shoot that magical number unlikely with the ninth such a difficult par four, but you never know. What a great round, though, from the 23-year-old for Wolverhampton. What a card that is. The player scores start from the, the first and the 11th here at Fanling. Aaron Rye on the par three, eighth. 20 on today, six off the left. Another terrific shot. Went a little bit quicker today, but that's another birdie opportunity coming up for Aaron. Another man who's had issues with slow play, Aaron. I know he's working very hard on that with the help of the European two referees to try and speed up his pre shot routine. This for another birdie for the Englishman. Oh. I think he'll find his, that ball. It'll be up in the bushes, though. Well, this for a par for Aaron. No problems with that. At the moment, he's tying 13 under the best 36 hole total here for the Hong Kong Open since it's been co sanctioned with the European Tour going back to 2002. Right on the ninth, not his final hole. Two to go, finishing on the tenth. Two gloves. See that bunker, the first bunker on the left side, really cuts in. You can't run a shot up anymore. If you've missed that bunker running up, you usually fall away into that right trap. So you've got to fly over that trap to stay on the green. He's trying to hook it in. Pretty good. I'm more than happy to take his par at nine from the greenside bunker. Bunkers are lovely here. They've got this beautiful soft river sand, but uh, just about three inches of sand and then a nice firm base and you can really do a lot very square stance square club face 
good shot. Big putt then for Aaron Rye for his par here and a sand save. Yeah, like Shelley Pease. Really beautifully done. Looks to be in a nice mood. Certainly got his game face on, not put off by the camera suddenly turning up. Now, really good chance now for Aaron Rye to make a birdie as long as he finds the fairway. Front left pin. Got to have spin on the ball to get it close. 67 yards. And that is going to stay. Ah. Nobody has led by more than seven on the European Tour after 36 holes. So I know it's early days and players going out this afternoon might be able to catch him up, but could be very exciting here, especially if he makes birdie. He can get to the back of the ball, so he can create some spin here. Oh, settle down. That's just the difference of being in that thicker grass at the back. Couldn't get the spin. Ask me as at all. Can he make another one here? Right, turning. It's turning. Oh, what a way! To finish his round, Aaron Rye, 61. Now a new course record. I have had players that have shot 60 and 61 before, but I'm sure there was a reason that maybe it didn't count as a course record, preferred lies, but that is an outstanding round today. That was an unlikely one. I mean, this is all of 40, 45 feet downhill, breaking quite a bit from left to right but the perfect pace look at that that's why you die putts because it makes the hole so much bigger fantastic round aaron bogey free 61 new course record was that as easy as made it look <laughs> uh no it wasn't i mean again we were lucky today with the conditions we didn't have much wind and starting out pretty early it was quiet for the first nine holes so it kind of feels like you're playing around at home, which was nice. Um, but yeah, played very well, kept it in play, had a lot of chances and made a lot of putts too. So yeah, ev everything was on song today. Nice, it kept it together, the, a nice up and down on the ninth as well. That must have helped. Yeah, certainly. Um, wasn't really out of position all day, to be honest. That may have been the only miss green. So yeah, to be able to get up and down there and keep things going is always nice and stay bogey free for today and also for yesterday. Is, uh, is a nice thing going into the weekend. Got a local caddy in the bag this week. How much is he helping you with conditions out here? He's really good. He's been out here for 25 years. He's caddied a few Hong Kong Opens as well. Um, but he's a great character, just very chilled, very easygoing. And I think that's probably the most important thing. Um, good to talk to and kind of keeps you calm when you need to. So, yeah, he's perfect. I know the question you've been asked many times before, but let's go with the two gloves. Uh, when did that start and how do you, how do you come by it? <laughs> it started when I was eight years old, so 15 years ago now. Um, I just happened to be given these two gloves. The guy who actually makes them sent a pair over and kind of got into the habit of wearing them. And then a few weeks down the line, my dad forgot to put the two gloves in the bag. So I had to play with one and it was terrible. Couldn't play, couldn't feel, uh, couldn't really feel the grip. So uh, always stuck with the two gloves ever since. What's the game plan going into the weekend? I mean, just to try and stay as close to the original game plan as possible. Um, I think if you get too conservative, if you try and defend a lead a little bit too much, um, you can start going backwards very easily, but also you can't get too aggressive around this course either. So um, as, as hard as it is and as easy it is, as it is to say, you just have to try and stick to what you're doing and what has got you into this position. Once again, well played, course record holder. Thank you very much, Aaron. Thank you very much. Thank you. To watch another European Tour video, click here. Or to subscribe, click here.